Welcome back designers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Carpenter, a web designer and illustrator. Today we're going to be creating a pencil pattern brush. Once an illustrator, create a new document and then head straight for the rectangle tool. Once the rectangle tool is selected, we can start creating our pencil brush. Now with the pencil brush, we need to split this into three different segments. So you'll have the beginning of your brush, which will be the pencil nib or the lead, the center of the brush, which will be the pencil body, and then the end of the brush, which will be the pencil rubber. So we're gonna first start off with the pencil body. Click anywhere on the artboard to bring up the width and height dimensions box and enter a width of 100 and a height of 20. Vertically and horizontally center the rectangle and then zoom in and create a duplicate. Simply hold down the Alt key, click, hold the Shift key and drag a duplicate above and then do the same and drag another one below. Make a selection around all three rectangles and then just give the rectangles a solid fill color. Select the middle rectangle and we just want to give that a lighter variant of whichever color you choose. Select the middle rectangle, right click and go to arrange, bring to front and then select the top rectangle then using the middle bottom anchor point just drag that down to meet the bottom rectangle select the rectangle we just changed arrange center back and then select the leftover rectangle and then just remove it that's the center of our pencil created so far so we can just move this to one side Make a selection around everything, hold Alt and Shift to drag a duplicate and with the rectangle still selected, hold the Alt key, select the left or right middle anchor point and just resize it down so it's a lot smaller. We can now start constructing the end of the pencil which will be the side the rubber sits on. So again using the rectangle tool just create three grey rectangles. Select the middle one and then just use a lighter grey colour and then using the rectangle tool again create a bigger rectangle on the end change the colour to a pink perhaps something a bit more lighter select the two end anchor points and then using the corner radius handles just round off that end make a selection around all the shapes which form the top end of the pencil object group and then just repeat the same for the middle pencil again drag a duplicate of the middle part hold the alt key and then just resize that down and now we can start constructing the lead side of the pencil set the rectangle tool again and then just create a square shape on the end go to the pen tool hold down the left mouse button and select the add anchor point tool or you can use the plus key shortcut and then Assuming you've got Smart Guide selected, find the center of the left end and just click to add an anchor point. Then using the Delete Anchor Point tool or the minus shortcut key, delete the top and bottom anchor points to create a triangle shape. Using the Direct Selection tool, make a selection around the left anchor point, the corner of it. Then using the corner radius handle, we can just round off the end so it's not so sharp. Typically on the pencil where the sort of body of the pencil meets the, the lead side of the pencil you normally get the triangular star shapes on the end so to do this we just need to make this area a little bit bigger select the add anchor point tool and add an anchor point in the center select the remove anchor point tool and then just delete the two top anchor points again to form a triangular shape. We now need to repeat this on the bigger rectangle. So again, select the add anchor point tool, create two anchor points at the top and then two at the bottom. Select A on the keyboard for the direct selection tool. For this, the second top one, move it over to the point. For the top anchor point on the bottom, move that over to the point then the other two anchor points we need to match up to the base of the rectangle then select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle underneath 
fill it the same color as the pencil nib. We now need to merge the end of the pencil with this second gray rectangle which we created. So first let's ungroup the layers, select the rectangle and the end shape and then from within the pathfinder tool select the unite option and then just right click on the shape, arrange and send it to back. And we can now look at creating the actual lead. So select the ellipse tool, give the ellipse a dark grey colour and then just move that over the end of the shape. Make a selection around both shapes, shift M on the keyboard for the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key and then just draw a line through the circle to remove it. Make a selection around all the shapes and regroup these up so object group and then open the pattern brushes window by going to window brushes and before we go ahead and create the new brush first thing we need to do is turn each segment into a swatch so from within the swatches panel drag the first shape in there the second shape and the third shape and then we can just move this to one side from within the brushes window select new brush and then you want to select pattern brush so within the pattern brush options window we can give the brush a name and then from within these five little squares we need to select our pen swatches which we just created so the first swatch we'll start with is the main body of the pencil and then once you've selected the main body of the pencil we can then define the right handed and left hand corners so auto between and then auto between and then the last two we need to select either end of our pencil or the start of our pencil and then finally we select the end of our pencil and then we can just flip these across if we wanted to by using the flip along option once this is done you can press ok now that our brush has been created we can use the brush in a number of ways so we can use it on singular paths different shape styles like square or circles or we can apply the brush to actual text so just to demonstrate select the paintbrush tool and just draw a random path and our brush has been applied and then we can also do this to singular shapes so with a normal ellipse Obviously with the ellipse, because the path is joined together, there's no end or starting point. You'll just get the main body of the pencil. If we actually delete the anchor point, then you can see we get the start and end of our brush. And we can also apply this to text. Obviously because the brush requires the text to be a path, you would need to physically trace the outline of the text with the pen tool. Or there is a quicker way you can do it by using the image trace tool, but it doesn't work for complicated fonts, uh, but I can demonstrate how this works. Select the type tool, then using a really thin font, so something like Poppins, using the thin variation. Type out the word you want to apply the brush to, right click and go to create outlines, then go to object, rasterize. And we just want to make sure the background is transparent and then press OK. Open the image trace tool by going to window, image trace, select the text layer, then under the preset click line art, untick the preview option, then change the threshold to 1 and then everything else to 100. Under the advanced options select ignore white and then just preview what that looks like. Looks pretty good and then select expand. Once you click expand we can zoom in and just check the path. It might need a bit of editing. Obviously it's not going to be 100% perfect. But you can go in there and tweak all the anchor points that you want to make sure it looks correctly. And once you've fine tuned all the text, make a selection around it all and then select the brush from the brushes window. And once the brush is applied to the text, we just need to fine tune the brush. So if you go to window brushes, double click the brush that we created and then we can literally just adjust the size click OK apply to strokes and then we have our brush text 
again there's still a lot more tweaking to be done I've literally just done this quick just to show you an example but once you've fine tuned all the text you should get something which looks a little bit like this that's it for this one thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to join my discord channel link in the description